Yes, GarageBand for Mac comes loaded with thousands upon thousands of studio quality Apple loops that you can use in your projects. The problem with that is that you just don't know who else has used those same loops in their own songs. The solution? Make your own. Hey, it's Patrick from the Garage Band Guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own Apple Loops and add them to the Loop Browser in Garage Band. First off, you'll need to have a melody, rhythm, or other sound that you want to turn into a loop. You can use real audio track regions, software instrument track regions, or even drummer track regions. I'll be using a real audio guitar track for this tutorial. Alright, once you've identified the region that you want to turn into a loop, you need to trim it down to size. To do that, hover the cursor over the bottom half of the end of the region. When the cursor changes to this icon, drag and drop the region to the length you want. Duplicate on the other side of the region until you've trimmed it to the size that you want. With your region resized, make sure it's selected and then click on File in the toolbar at the top there and select Add Region to Loop Library. In the menu that appears, you can rename your loop and decide what type of loop it will be. Loops conform to the song tempo, while a one-shot ignores the tempo of the song. This is really important, as selecting the loop option means your audio loop might sound a wee bit weird if loaded into a project with a drastically different tempo than what it was recorded in. It doesn't matter so much with MIDI or drummer loops though. The scale and genre options here are designed to make your loops more easily searchable within the loop browser, so select accordingly. You can assign instrument descriptors here as well, again to make your loop more easily searchable. I'll pick guitar and electric guitar in this submenu. And you can add further descriptors here as well. Once you're done, click Create, and your new loop will be added to the GarageBand loop library. You can find it by searching using the genre and instrument filters, or by looking in the Users section of the browser. Working with loops is a quick and easy way to build up a song. But what happens if you use an Apple loop in a song, release it, and then get flagged for copyright violation? Watch this video next to find out how to fix that. 